Hi guys, welcome back to your weekly readings. I trust you guys are having a wonderful weekend and that finally the energies from the super eclipses that we just had are leveling out so that you can try to navigate the energies a bit easier. Now at least where I'm concerned, they have finally plateaued so I can handle it a little better. Um, it was a bit tough there for a minute. Today we're going to Take a peek at the energies that may affect us from the 27th through to the 2nd of February already into the next month. So by the looks of it, this year is going to fly by as well, perhaps even quicker than the last, it seems like already. So, uh, but the energies are going to be quite as powerful as the last year was. So don't think you're going to sneak away from that because that is already showing up as very powerful and very influencing year where we are all concerned for this week we're going to perhaps need to look at our self-esteem a bit more and try to focus on falling in love with ourselves again and working towards betterment of our health our eating routines our sleeping routines what we can do for ourselves to improve our lives as we move into the future that's going to be very important because perhaps while tending to the needs of others and focusing on others in the past, we have denied ourselves um, certain things that have now taken its toll. Uh, perhaps we haven't paid attention to our health or to our well-being or the path that we would like to take as we move forward because we're focusing on too many other exterior things or other people. That we care about but sometimes we need to know where our boundaries lie that's another important thing that we need to look at we need to look at our boundaries we need to uh, remain focused on what it is that we desire and how we feel within ourselves and not allow others that come in to change that you know we need to stick fast with our integrity our boundaries our convictions those are important our self-expression as well we need not let others take it away from us. You know, perhaps we could change the way that we express ourselves just a little so that it isn't taken in a, in a confrontational way from other people or in a negative way. Perhaps we can kind of tone it down a bit or give it in little, in little pieces so that they still get, you know, a piece of our mind, but not quite as, you know, a, a stance or a confrontational way to others where it may seem like you are. Um, attacking them in a sense, you know, but you're expressing yourself, how you feel, the way that you would like things to happen, because you also count as a person, as an individual. You need to trust the way that you feel and what you believe, you know, because for all of us, we're all different and we're on a path on a different level. So we're not going to be the same as the other person. And perhaps they're not even going to understand us when we try to express how we truly feel. Because they're going to say, well, where are you coming from with this? Or what exactly do you mean by that? They may see it as something uh, that attacks them in a sense because they're just not there yet. So you need to also be aware of the level that other people are in and try to meet them halfway when you're having discussions with them or when you're trying to express exactly how it is that you feel. Don't be afraid to take a stand as well if it gets uh, to that point. And try to avoid it, of course, if you can, by smoothing things over. But if you need to take a stand to um, reiterate where your boundaries lie or not to um, belittle your integrity in any way, you need to do so, you know. Because Archangel Michael is expressing that your self-esteem this week is going to be very important. You need to start working on it because perhaps we have put it aside a little bit or just dismiss it somehow because we feel it's not important at this time we need to worry about all these other things that are bombarding us and all these other people and their opinions you need to learn to separate that and create a boundary so that you can respect yourself and 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 believe in the things that you want to do and start moving forward in that direction as well because sometimes we put ourselves aside our needs aside so that we can assist other people and then we end up crushing ourselves and then they end up walking all over us because you know, you fed them a lot of your energy, a lot of your time, a lot of your um, attention, and then they just didn't appreciate it. 
in a sense or didn't even see it so they, they took advantage of it so you need to be careful with that there's going to be some important decisions that come up either during this week or as we move into february during february it's a very decisive month for some folks okay uh you need to not let it confuse you because some people may come in to try to um sway you in their direction and if it's someone that has hurt you in the past or has not been there for you when you needed them you need to be careful because now that they need you or they may want to have you back in their lives it may not be a very good idea for you because you've already learned to get past that so remember your boundaries okay sometimes we can't be all things for everyone we can't do this and do that sometimes we we try to split up our time and and be everything for everyone or be there for everyone when they need us we can't do that because eventually we will fail so you need to pick and choose exactly what would be important for you uh the people that are coming into your lives that are having you make a decision make sure that it's coming from the heart and it's something that you want and if it's someone that has hurt you in the past you need to really evaluate that you need to really look into that because you don't want to fall into the same trap again. Again, that wheel that we're caught in, that we're doing shit over and over again. And we don't seem to learn from our past experiences. We need to get off the wheel and start looking at things from a different perspective and know that it is a growth. It's a growth period. The earth is our school. We're here to learn. And if we don't learn the easy way, we're going to learn the hard way. And the more you have to go over the same lesson the harder the teacher is going to be on you so um, keep that in mind that we need to get past that somehow always know that you need to do what is important to your soul what brings you closer to your divine life purpose and at that moment when you need to make a decision if you go within and you ask your higher self it will immediately give you an answer you need to go with it when we second guess our gut, when we second guess our higher self is when we usually run into more problems. So connect with your higher self because it is trying to guide you when you run into these big decisions that are going to be coming up in the, in the upcoming weeks or month. Be careful. It could be romantic as well. You could have like several people that if you're single um, can try to make a play for you. So you need to make sure that that your decisions are made from the heart, also connected to your mind. You need to be somewhere in the middle so that they don't um, uh, take advantage of you if it's someone that you already know and someone that has hurt you again in the past. It could be a new person and someone you already know or someone that you really care about. So you have to be careful because the new person might truly be uh, the way that you need to go. Also make sure that they're single, that they're not married, that they're not hiding something from you. So whatever you do... Take your time making that decision. There's no rush. If they try to rush you, then there's something that they're hiding. So you need to know that as well. That there's something that they're either running from, hiding from, and you need to be completely aware that it's not going to work out. You know, Because remember, what starts badly will always end badly. Well, I was shuffling, we got the Four of Water. So there's decisions that we're making. There's gifts that are coming from the Divine. There's looking into past relationships or past experiences that we have that that keep us our minds confused. So try not to do that anymore. Try to open yourself up for what is coming into the future, you know, and, and leave the past where it is. In the past, it's there for a reason. Uh, you need to learn to fall in love with yourself again. There could also be a romantic um, offer. For those of you that are in a relationship, your partner may want to do something a little bit different with you. And I would say try it out because it's always good to keep your romance fresh and do new things, go to new places and follow new experiences, provided they don't cross your boundaries or um, your integrity isn't harmed in any way. You know, you need to stick fast to that. For those of you that are single, there could be a romantic partner that comes into your life. Again, be careful because decisions are going to be very important. If this person is free and does not have any baggage and has learned their lesson and has been single for a while and has, you know, is interested in getting to know you, then by all means, you know, go for it. Check it out. This could just be saying, hey, 
you need to focus on yourself for a while. For the next coming month or a couple of weeks, it's time to just go within, focus on yourself, fall in love with yourself again, and see where that takes you. There's going to be a new inspiration that comes about because of this new uh, situation that you're going through. In the distant past, you were confused. There was a lot of confusion. There was a lot of secrets that have come out since then. There's a lot of growth that you have done. Uh, listening to your intuition has helped you a lot. So as you move forward, you need to focus on yourself for a while because this new inspiration that's coming in is going to give you lots of options. So you may have lots of options when it comes to romance, when it comes to um, new positions, a new job, new ideas, new creative projects that may come up because of it. And it's something that's going you're going to work very hard at because you're going to love it. And it could be a talent that you have, using your talents wisely, bringing them back into your life. Because when we love ourselves, we usually navigate naturally to a talent that we may have because we're kind of happy, we're upbeat. And when our vibrations are high, our talents tend to come out, come out because it's something that we will naturally do. Okay. So this new passion that you that you gravitate towards is going to keep you very very busy and you may have very many options, new ideas, new avenues that come up because of it. You're going to need to take a break because you're going to be so busy as you move forward with your newfound projects and newfound passions that you're going to need to be able to slow down a little bit. Try not to let the energy like overrun you because you may overwork yourself and then you'll, you're will you going to run out of steam, run out of energy. Others are going to see you as quite triumphant moving forward. So be careful with that again because sometimes others will get upset or become jealous or what have you because you're moving away from them. You're moving fast. You're getting, going places and they're not. So that might cause a bit of a rift with family, friends, lovers. So be careful. Try to slow down and not uh, <clears throat> make too much of a wave in your life because it will put a stop to you or it will slow down your, your forward movement. So try to keep it under wraps. Also, if there's people that don't need to know exactly all of your plans, keep them, keep them to yourself. Because you don't always need to tell, tell everything you know that you do. Sometimes keeping some secrets might, might be helpful. All right. Now you're going to be very fearful as you move forward. There's going to be a lot of hopes and fears. Your hopes are going to be to move forward, but you're going to fear that you're not going to be able to make it or or get to where you need to go. But I would I would say that if you slow down a little bit as you move through this week and the next coming weeks and try to focus on what you have in front of you and try not to be all for everyone and the decisions that come in that you make them from the heart, um, you're going to be okay. Try not to be so fearful. At the end, you're going to either be helped by someone that's very financially stable or you're going to become very independent and very financially stable yourself. You're going to be very organized. You're going to see that connection to the divine, connection to nature is going to be important in your life. Taking some breaks, not working all of the time, but working very diligently and hard when you are working and not allowing others to come in and distract you from your work or from the things that you want to do or from the new inspiration that you're going to have. Remember, your decisions are going to be very important as you move through this week and self-esteem, standing up for yourself, putting in your opinion when you need to, is going to be very important as well. And you're going to be looking at what you've done up to now and seeing what you can eliminate and how you can move forward in an easier way for you because you're going to need to take some breaks. And once you take a break or when you're taking a break, you need to contemplate as to what you can eliminate from your life as you move forward, okay? Whether it's people, situations, additional responsibilities <clears throat> that may hold you back that you, you definitely don't need, okay? 
there's going to be a change in the wind as you move forward so there are some changes that are coming in and you need to be aware of that it could cause a little bit of chaos for some of you and for some of you it could just propel you forward but then it'll cause chaos to those that depend on you or those that you have been assisting or being with all of this time you know the people that are around you your uh, relationships your family your friends people at work so be careful that this change doesn't cause too much of a ruckus in the rest of your life because you personally need to move forward we're all are on our own little path to enlightenment and sometimes we need to break away from things that we've done, been doing Okay, for some of you, there's going to be some decisions or some people that come into your life in the next couple of weeks that are not for you. Okay, even though you think it might be something that you have wished for, when you crack open that that Chinese um, <clears throat> that little that little surprise, it's not going to work out for you. So be sure of the moves that you make that they're right for you because there's going to be some that are not. Okay. That little surprise little cookie that comes in this in inside your little Chinese cookies. This one's not going to, to be very good for you. So there's something that's coming that you need to be careful with you with your decisions, okay? You need to get out some and meditate and breathe. Do some breathing exercises and meditation because that's going to help you as you move through this week. Especially when you're making decisions. You need to breathe and go within. And make sure the decision you're making is the correct one. For some of you, you're going through a stage of regeneration at this time where everything seems to die off and then everything is going to be reborn. So some transformative energy, I guess this change that's coming in is going to be very transformational. Okay, it's going to feel like a death of the old and a rebirth of the new, which is a good thing sometimes, but it could be painful, okay? It's going to make you come to the very edge of your belief and of the things that you have worked for. You're going to be right there saying, do I take that leap of faith? Do I do it? Do I do it? You're going to be looking at, at yourself and knowing that time is running out. So for some of you, it's going to be a decision that, that you have to make by a certain time or someone else will either take it. It could be a position at work or it could be something that you're offered or a relationship knowing that. Uh, the person won't be single forever. So if it's somebody that's offering you a relationship, you need to, to know that either you decide one way or the other or they will decide for you. Also, the universe decides sometimes. So there's certain things that maybe you have asked for that now is not the right time. The decisions or the choices that you may have coming up are not the right ones. Okay, and TikTok is showing you that you need to wait. Wait for the proper timing because you will know. There won't be a doubt in your mind when the right situation comes along, when the right position at work comes along, when the right person comes along for you if you are single, or the right decision that you need to make if you are in a relationship. So know that for some, the time is now and you will know it. And for some, the time is not now, the situation is not for you, and you'll also know that. Because your impression, your higher self will immediately tell you, will be talking to you, so know it. For some of you, you're right in the middle of a life stage that's changing. You feel orphaned. You feel like you're being left out in the cold by others. Don't worry about the people that are leaving your life. Think about the ones that are coming in due to the fact that there's an open space, that there's area for it. For those of you that are uh, breaking up or that have broken up because of the eclipses, because of the changes that are coming in, because of as above, so below, and we need to move ahead in our lives for the changes. The wheel is turning constantly and we're constantly changing up, down, down and up. We're always changing. So for those of you that have broken up, don't worry because that's making room for someone new to come in and for you to focus within because right now it's time to go within and while you're busy worrying about yourself, new people will automatically be attracted to you because your vibrations will be higher and will be calling in others. You need to imagine, use your imagination for those of you that will, you will have that new inspiration that comes in to either go in a different direction or do something completely different in your life. So by using your imagination, you're going to be moving forward a lot. For those of you that do get something that does come in very, very quickly, you need to chop wood. This means that you need to focus on that and then just do that for a little while because that's going to help you somehow and other ideas to come in or other people to approach you. 
So you're going to be very, very busy as you move forward. They're asking you to continue to focus on what you're doing. Take some breaks in the interval so you don't burn out, but focus on it because there's a reason why it has started in your life. You need to follow your intuition. A higher power is at work here. So know this and know that they're there to help you. You may need to focus and think and meditate on some situations that are coming into your life. You may meet someone, for those of you that are single, someone that that is very spiritual, that thinks very deeply on certain subjects that may be very attractive to you or be attracted to you. So um, focus on that as well. If somebody does come into your life that is um, going to help you somehow in wh whatever it is that you have going on, and for everyone it's going to be a bit different. So I see a very busy week focusing on your talents, focusing on yourself, taking some breaks when you need to because you need to replenish your energy. You need to focus on your health so that you do get better. And things will get better for you provided you follow guidance. Okay. Now I'm going to do the additional part that I do where you guys get to choose a, B, or C, the interactive part. And let's see what happens there. I'm going to pick up the cards so I don't have a big mess of cards later on to sort out. For those of you that have contacted me for a private reading, I do appreciate you guys. For those of you that thumbs up, share my videos, I love you guys. Thank you so much for listening to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Riza, and this is my channel. You can always contact me via my email, risashealingarts11 at gmail.com. You can check out my blog, risestarot.blogspot.com. I also sell art prints. You can check that out. I'll have a, an address down below that you can go check them out. Uh, I think this deck got tired of being shuffled, because I do shuffle before... We start and then I'm going to shuffle again. One more time. We're done. A, B, or C. This one will shuffle this well. Two C because they got two cards because you know how that goes. And one advice from your guides. This deck I've had for a very long time. I don't normally use it because the, sometimes the messages are pretty powerful. those of you that chose A, choose a new direction in life, okay? You're going to have choices that come up. Don't stick with the same old, same old, the one that you've known, the one that you have run over many, many times. Go in a different direction to what you're being asked to do, okay? You may be afraid, you may be a bit timid to do these new things in your life or to choose a new direction or to go against the grain sometimes that's what we're being asked to do because there's a reason for it is your life path is what you need to do and on the other end of that path is your dream is your wish is what you what you've always wanted in your life is what's going to make you happy and feel fulfilled so i would say choose a new direction and don't be afraid to do so there are some priorities that you need to uh, reevaluate in your life. Your decisions, your commitments, your choices, your reflections, they need to be very important as you move through this coming weeks. Remember that you're always going to reap what you sow. Reach for greater. Let go of what does not serve you. So you're being asked to uh, quit going over the same problems, the same type of relationships, the same situations in your life and move forward. Do something completely different. Do what makes you afraid. OK, 
okay? Take that leap of faith and know that you have to. You're being asked to do so. Get rid of clutter in your life. Start eliminating things that no longer you use. You, it doesn't serve your purpose. Give it to charity. Uh, take it to goodwill. Find someone that could use these items or things in your life that no longer uh, that you no longer use. You don't have a purpose for them. What it does is it holds you back. It's clutter that clutters your mind. It clutters your space. And it's easier for you to take that new direction, to do something different in your life when you don't have a lot of baggage. So get rid of the baggage. Don't be so shy and afraid to make the changes that you know deep in your heart it's time to do. For those of you that chose B, in the near future. So there's something that you're asking, something that you desire, something you want to manifest. And in the near future, you will be able to do so. You will be freed. Either someone comes in to assist you to free you from your self-imposed chains or from chains that have been put there by others. Maybe it'll be just you, your own actions, your own thoughts, your own deliberate actions will free you from something that has enslaved you, which you no longer need in your life either. <clears throat> you have been in a lot of denial lately, so you need to take that mask off, okay? You need to compromise. You have been ignoring things that are important. There is a lot of confusion and distortion in your life, and you need to fix that. You need to focus on that. Like I said, go within, work on yourselves for a while, and don't worry about exterior things at this time. You need to take off those blinders, open to the truth of the matter, what is going on in your life yourself and in others that are around you <clears throat> you will have divine helpers that step in and assist you okay so don't be afraid to listen to your higher self because they're going to try to help you come out of this denial or this blindness that you have been in okay I help you find a way out to liberate yourself from self-imposed situations or enslavement for those of you that chose C, don't stop. Keep moving forward. There's an announcement that's coming. There's good news that you will hear, or there's an announcement that's coming, some news from somewhere, from someone, from something. There's something that's asking you not to stop. Don't give up. Whatever it is that you want, have chosen, the path that you're going on, keep going. It's a good one. There's going to be many messages that you get that you, you'll see that, okay, I'm on the right path. I'm doing okay. There's going to be a lot of competition in your life, whether it's with other people, people that work, people that, that are family members. It's just a lot of arguments or differences of opinion, battle, challenges, discord in your life, um, conflicts. Fighting a good fight, but pray for divine guidance. So you're being asked to continue to stand up for yourself. Remember, no compromises, your boundaries, your integrity. But there's going to be a lot of difficult competition for either your attention, your love, um, other people, people at work, friends, family. It's going to be serious. So you need to um, stand, stand tall, you know, but don't you need to take breaks as well. Don't just fight for something and forever and ever. If you see that the door is closing, that the competition is too stiff, then move on to something else that's not going to take so much of your energy. Competition that makes you stronger, though, it will strengthen your will. So for those of you that want to continue, go ahead. But like I said, in the end, if it if it's too much, it will strengthen your will. But you can also walk away and say, you know what? I've had enough of this shenanigans, and I'm going to go somewhere where I feel a lot peaceful. And if it's a person, if you have to battle that hard for them, then they don't belong to you. You need to just move along and tell that person to shh. Out of your way because you're waiting for somebody that's just for you. No battles, no struggles. They'll know that you're the one and you'll know, wow, you're the one for me. And if it's a position at work and you really, really want it, then stand up for yourself. But they'll have to realize that you're the one for that position as well. Otherwise, move on to something else because later on something better will show up. Okay, if it's divorce, some of you may be going through divorces lawyers, no cooperation from your partner, but don't give up, okay, because you'll have help from your from your lawyers. For some of you, you're going to have a guide that helps you, okay, this will be a guide that gets you out of a situation, It'll be, it could be a trusted friend, it could be one of your special guides, or an angelic guide that comes in just to help you move through this difficult situation that you're going through. 
also listening to celestial music, so harp music, violin music, classical music, baroque music is going to help you. So listen to some of that like in the background very low. So it's just, you know, it's affecting your uh, unconscious mind where you don't even realize it, but it is calming you down and is making more creativity pop into your head because that's what that type of music does. But music is going to help you move forward. You may also hear some messages that come through in the songs that you really love that you need to hear at this time to help you with this serious competition or, or just with the situations that have come up in our lives because we're all going through a lot of changes. We just need to stick, stick to them, okay? I do love you guys. Have a blessed week. If you would like a private reading with me, please contact me via my email, risesealingarts11 at gmail.com. I know that happiness is coming our way, okay? But we need to be modest. We need to stick with our guns. And we need to just move forward and know that if something is too too rough or it's taking too much of your energy, say adios to it because it's not something that you want to uh, continue to do and work harder on other things that you know are just for you. I do love you. Thank you for listening to my channel. Thank you for being there for me. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now. Kisses and hugs.